end. This is Institute Rex. technology. It appears as though. What? These are Protectrons. These are Robco stuff. Then again, the Institute was trying to make synthetics. Hmm. Uh. Okay. Because this probably isn't going to end up well. Okay. I don't know why. I even bothered. Hmm. Hey, you stopped. Look at these wrecks. It appears as though the facility's automated security's already been dealt with. Yeah. Looks like we missed the party. You're making a foolishly hasty assessment. Look at the evidence. There isn't a single spent ammunition casing or drop of blood in sight. These robots were assaulted by Institute Synths. Sounds like you're scared of Synths. There's a measurable difference between being frightened and being prepared. Now, I'm prepared. I have a gun. Move out. The detail in that armor he's wearing is amazing, by the way. This place is a mess, but I still see a few pieces of salvage that the Brotherhood might be interested in. After we're done here, I'll have to mark this place for sweep and retrieve. You know, Looks assuming like dead end. I don't steal See anything. Find a way to get that door open. I'm gonna reconnoiter the area. Hacking this is beyond me. Yeah, I can't do that. Uh, I'm assuming I could probably lockpick the door. I'm pretty sure the way the game is designed is you're generally expected to have access. Well, actually, there's a good chance... Oh, hello. Reminder, password security. Uh, this is your annual reminder on all terminal mainframe passwords to be changed on a monthly basis. Failure to do so may result in automated changes, the suspension of network privileges, and or disciplinary actions. Please do your part in keeping ArcJet systems secure. Uh, 9YB3N. Hopefully I don't need to actually type that myself. Okay, so I can input that now, right? Uh, lab controls? Prototype interlink. To the prototype, really. Kill them all! Hostile sensor reading has detected. Yeah, I'd say threat neutralized sums it up pretty well. Movement detected. Is someone present? I don't think we're alone. I don't think we're alone. No. What gave you that idea? Ow. Okay, seriously, you're fat and in the way. And you're walking into a situation where the enemy has vastly superior flanks. Like, it's amazing that the Brotherhood have lasted this long with that kind of training. Relying solely on your power armor to keep you alive through things is, like, it, it's a mistake. Hmm. See? Mistake. Oh, I got fiber optics for disarming that. Ooh, what? I need to be really careful from the looks of it. Okay. Really? I'm assuming the computer can also unlock this safe. However, I do not have hacking. Maybe one day. Giddy up buttercup back leg. 
I'm not even going to question why that's in there or why I would need to take it. Ooh, a chemistry station. Interesting. Ooh, a large toolbox that's locked. Which means it probably contains absolutely nothing. That's it. Duct tape, flip lighter, spoon. Nothing. Like I said. Armor workbench. Really? Uh, nothing I really want to mess with, to be honest. Hmm. Weapon workbench. Actually, weapon workbench. I want to have a look at the automatic combat rifle. Uh, can I put anything on it? Front sight ring, steel and adhesive. I could do that. I could even do this. But I don't really want to put a scope on it. So let's do sight ring. Uh, that looks cool. But uh, I just wanted some better sights. Yeah, I like that a lot better. Thank you. Damn synths have compromised most of the facility. I see a microscope. Mine. A pack of duct tape. Even better. That's nice. Wait. Oh, combination wrench. I don't know why I read that as combination workbench. Oh, that's... Okay. That's what a stealth boy looks like, apparently. Don't worry. Yes. I've got this door on lockdown. Or more of unlockdown. Because I unlocked it. But... Ta-da. Hmm... Mars shot. After six months, the United States Space Administration finally approved ArcJet as the contractor for the Mars shot project's propulsion and communication systems, having my team start working on the XMB booster before we secured the contract was a gamble, but it looks like it's going to pay off big. We have a lot of details to hash out with the agency, and we have a lot of work ahead of us, but I think this contract will finally put ArcJet on the map. Are these months... I was fortunate to be able to add Dr. Rory McKellen, or McClellan? McClellan to the XMB booster team today. There are a few people who can match Dr. McClellan's aptitude with nuclear propulsion systems, so this truly was a coup. Or a coup, I guess. It cost the company a heck of a lot of money to hire him away from his military contracting job, but I'm sure it would be well worth every dollar. We've promised the USSA that the booster would be ready at least a year before their July 2078 launch date. With Dr. McClellan at the helm, we should be able to meet that deadline with time to spare. As the holiday season approaches, it's time to take a step back and look at everything that's happened to ArcJet Systems this year. Five months ago, my company was struggling to make ends meet. Now with the XMP booster and the deep range transmitter projects in full swing, ArcJet appears to have received a second chance. Thanks to Dr. McClellan, we're on, a, we're on schedule and under budget. The USSA is thrilled with our progress and is already take, talking to me about future contracts after we deliver. I don't think it's possible to be ending the year on a better note. McClellan's informed me that we have a problem with the XMB booster. The USSA is demanding that the engine can't exceed their strict weight allowance, but thanks to the uranium refinement subsystem, we're a few hundred tons over. We're now one month behind schedule, and I'm frankly starting to panic. Dr. McClellan assures me he'll find a solution soon, but that isn't helping me get to sleep at night. The USSA has started their public relations campaign for the Marshot Project and ArcJet Systems is finding itself caught right in the middle. In the last week, I think I've fielded 15 separate interviews with everyone asking the same questions over and over again. They all want to know when we're delivering the XMB boosters so they can take their pretty pictures of the USSA test firing it for the first time. And all I can do is keep smiling and lying through my teeth that the XMB will be delivered when it's ready. How's that lying through your teeth? It will be delivered when it's ready. Oh, unless they're not going to be delivering when it's ready. I hope that Dr. McClellan solves our weight problem soon, or we're never going to get a contract from the USSA ever again. 
I can't believe it, but Dr. McClellan's team finally solved the XMB's weight problem. Now all we need to do is finish tightening a few screws and hoist the thing up into the engine core. If we're lucky, we'll be able to test fire the booster right after the new year. It's funny how things seem so bleak and chaotic during the year, but it all comes together for us just in time for the holidays. We scheduled a photo opportunity tomorrow for the XMB booster's first test firing in the engine core. We're going to stick them all down in the control room and let them shoot at the shoot their pictures through the thermal glass window after Dr. McClellan gives them a short explanation of how the booster works. The engine puts out a hell of a lot of thrust, so it should be quite a spectacular show. It's been two weeks since the accident before the XMB booster's test firing event. Somehow a photographer managed to wander past security and into the engine core a few hours early. Dr. McClellan was running a quick test on the booster, letting it run for only a few seconds to make sure it was ready for the demonstration, and it burned the photographer into ash. Thank God no one else saw what happened. I'm having Brent take care of the remains. After all, that's why I hired him. If word of this accident goes public, we'll be shut down, and I may as well be... may as well... May as well put a for sale sign out front. All the unrest over. Wait, did I miss something? No. Oh, okay. All the unrest overseas is making the USSA nervous about proceeding with the Marshot project. They're telling me they may have to delay a year or more depending on what happens. If that's true, we'll just have to make do with the proceeds from the deep range transmitter contract, which we've already completed. I'm trying to keep everyone's spirits up around here, but it's getting harder and harder. For with the world falling apart around us. Hopefully our government will work things out and we can get we can all get back to work. Yeah, and that was 2077, so we all know how that turned out. Provided fire support for the paladin. Uh, but I didn't. Uses, okay, so not uses. Not then. Possibly line. Uh, sign has one matching letter. Rush does not. Duty does not. Moon does not. Deny does not. Open does not. Turn does. Such does. Sees does. Okay. I don't even know what word it just removed. Uh, hello, 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 any more, please? Please? Hmm. Open. Yuck. Oh, well, I broke it. Wait, really? They reset after ten seconds. They don't stay permanently locked out anymore. Really? Yard. Well, you know what? I already don't like this one. Screw it. Neon. Road. Sweet. Okay. And so a new terminal in Reinhardt's office. He's demanding some serious security on it now that we've got the Mars shot contract. I'm not sure if he's being paranoid or if he's got a real reason to worry. I'll set it up with the best we've got for now. Okay, now I'm convinced that Reinhardt is paranoid. He, he had me put in automated security turrets in the main hallway outside his office. You'd think we were working for the military instead of just the United States Space Administration. Good. McClellan constantly bugging me that the mainframe keeps running out of space. I've ordered some more storage from our supplier, but we're rapidly running out of room down here for any more consoles. I might have to talk to Reinhardt into letting us spill over into the office section. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. Brent came down and had me pull out all the video surveillance records from the mainframe from last month. I asked if he wanted me to just make him backups, but he s just grunted like he always does and demanded the originals. I have no idea what he's doing with them, and I don't want to know. As long as I keep getting a paycheck, I could care less. Turret control. Deactivate. Hi. 
Hmm. 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 Not seeing anything too terribly expected. Oh, one of those was empty. Oh well. Get up Buttercup head. I, that's that's really weird. But the way things have really worked so far is that whenever you're doing a, it seems like whenever you're doing a quest or something, you normally end up receiving parts towards a companion that is a part of or will be received after said quest. And to be honest, it's a horrible thought. I mean seriously, who wants a giddy up buttercup? I mean unless I can ride it like a horse, that'd be that'd be pretty awesome. Well, that's broken. Supply closet? Mm, ooh, 50 caliber rounds. Those are rare. Like, so rare, I don't even... What? Did he go down? Wait, 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 wait. Huh. Weird. Okay. What? Course ahead. Should be our final stop. Are you sure? This seems like a terrible decision. I have a bad feeling about this. Watch your footing. Looks like the power's out in this section. I've got my pit boy light on, everything's fine. Dog meat, get out of the way. I wanted my right away. Look at this place. Scribes it a field day in here. Yeah? The transmitter should be in the control room at the top of the core. But it looks like the elevators are dead. We'll have to keep heading down for now. And find a way to get the facility's power back online. There has to be a power backup system somewhere. Maybe. Maybe not. Area off the main chamber. I'll remain here and watch our backs. Really? Excellent. Junk jet? Wait, does this just fire anything? Is this the rocket launcher? It's the rocket launcher, isn't it? Hmm. Mm-hmm. 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 You could a bottle. Load the pre-war money. Rat poison. Steal an antiseptic. Eh, whatever, I don't care. Really? Got it. Duct tape, turpentine, scissors, fuse. Carrying too much and can't run. Really? Really? I may have just stolen a fusion core because I found it. Question, can you actually reload these to recharge? Doesn't look like it. Really? I'm like one weight over. I don't really want to get it any get rid of anything. Hmm. Need some iguana bits that should do the trick. Maybe. There we go. Okay. The energy core is operating on emergency power to conserve energy. All non critical systems and operations have been suspended. Start auxiliary generators. Really? I'm still overweight? Fine, eat some insta mash. And some mole rat meat. Restored. Thermal engine. Fueled, primed, and standing by for your command. Okay. What 
just happened? Did somebody blow up the nuclear Watch engine. Looks like the power's out in this yeah, 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 shut up. I'm gonna be honest, we'll to junk is useful in this game, so I don't know if I care about it. I'll leave it here and hopefully I'll remember it later. Drag? Dead? No. Grow? Nope, it's not the R. Okay, okay. Is it the A? Maybe. I'll remain here to watch our backs. Oh, right. This. I want this. Sweet. Screw it. Take it all. Doom. Coma. Loan. Yes. Ah. Engine core power restored. Thermal engine fueled, primed, and standard command accepted. Commencing five-second countdown. Five. Four. You uh, you may want to get out of there. Counting down, he had plenty of opportunity to bail out of there. Firing completed with an efficiency rating of 96.7%. Really? 96.7%? Hey. Okay, get oh off. Oh my god! Are you alright? Oh, it's scripted for them. By those flames. But thanks to my power armor, I'm still in one piece. It was counting the down. The thing is that we're still alive. We have a way to get to the transmitter. Let's go. So, scripted event. Very scripted, very event. Oh, is that the elevator? Going down. Goodbye. Going down. Why does it say going down? It's going up, isn't it? Yeah. Went up. Weird. You hear that? Whoa. They're in the control. Over there. Deep range transmitter. Oh, is this my loot box? Kind of disappointing, really. Oh, I can't fire it again. Military-grade circuits. Uh, okay. I think it's time to get out. How are you leaving? You know what? I guess I'll figure it out when I get to the bottom. Top? Bottom? Top? Bottom? Top. Ah! Ah! That 
that was the bunker looks clear. Surely Let's you exceed out. the yeah. weight limit on the uh, elevator. Can I drive this? I want to drive this. Paladin dance. Well, that could have gone smoother, but mission accomplished. Smoother? Smoother? I thought we did fine. That sweep was sloppy. We were caught unprepared more than once, which is unacceptable. However, your extra gun gave us the edge we needed. I'm not certain I could have accomplished the mission alone. I suppose that's it then. Not necessarily. That being said, I believe we have two important matters to discuss. First and foremost, if you'll hand me the deep range transmitter, I'd like to compensate you for your assistance during this operation. Okay, fair I enough. Think you'll find this weapon useful. It's my own personal modification of the standard Brotherhood laser rifle. I don't use laser rifles. May it serve you well in battle. Forty-four damage. Not bad. Not bad. I mean. I'm obviously not going to deny it. Don't you need to keep it? This isn't the only weapon at my disposal. Brotherhood soldiers always carry a backup. Now, as far as the second matter goes, I wanted to make you a proposal. A proposal. We had a lot thrown at us back there. Our op could have ended in disaster. But you kept your cool and handled it like a soldier. There's no doubt in my mind that you've got what it takes. When we met at the police station, you told me you wanted to join the Brotherhood. I didn't necessarily say that. Is that something you're still willing to do? Or should we just say our goodbyes? So, what would be expected of me if I joined? You'd be under my command, and I'd expect you to follow orders. No more mercenary work. This is the real thing. You'd have access to advanced military weapons, as well as your own personal suit of power armor. I have that. Most importantly, you'd have the Brotherhood at your back, ready to spill its own blood to keep you alive. Offer still stands. Can we count on you? I don't sure. know. It's a big decision, so I understand your hesitation. If you decide you want to become one of us, you know where we are. Good luck. Uh, wait, the police station or the other ones? Oh, screw it. Now what can I do? Level 15. Sneak. Hacking. And hacking's not too bad. Locksmith I can't do for another three levels. I haven't really done any pickpocketing. I, to be honest, I almost never do pickpocketing in these games. Uh, I don't really see anything spectacular so far. Hmm. Scrapper I can't get to leave in higher. Uh I'm, it's kinda disappointing. This I'm gonna go with this, honestly. That's my choice. Because of basically the one major thing is that I like to move, especially when I'm being shot. So if I'm sprinting away or something, I'm taking less damage. Which to me is important. Why? Why isn't there a working one of these cars? It doesn't look that broken. I mean, it probably just needs a new nuclear fuel source. I mean, how hard could that be to find? Don't criticize me. Okay, so... The Glowing Sea, because that sounds fun. Story of the Century. I really just need to tell her off. Or maybe shoot her in the face. Shoot her in the face would be fun. Can I shoot her in the face? Whoa, 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 what's going on up there? I have an idea.
Where'd you find a gun the whole way out there? 